Hi everybody, thank you for coming to my channel. This is Wendy with Wendy's Paper Junk and I am prepping some book covers. Um, I have a lovely pen pal up in Oregon and she finally told me what she wanted. She needed a couple journal covers, the basics, uh, with the holes punched in the spine because she doesn't have the tool to get those holes. And uh, she was thinking maybe a bigger book, bigger spine. And I thought, well, I'm going to send her two sizes and <laughs> have her have at it. So I thought I'd just show you what I'm doing as I'm doing it. Um, these are the two books I'm working with. So let me show you. I have this one. Uh, this one I am not going to... Uh, mess up the cover um i will she might like the 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 you know the original cover to this i don't know so this one is one cover i'm going to work on this is the second one <laughs> um now this is a sesame street cover i've got plenty of these books so don't freak out that i'm using this one um i like the size of it I, it's oversized it's bigger and i thought she could really work her magic on trying to get pages to fit this so what i was doing though since i know we don't want a sesame street book cover i was getting ready to uh do a base on it because i want to i want to make this as sturdy and um neutral as possible and then when she gets it she can always add um her papers on top but the base i think is going to be these lovely aged book um book pages um practically falling out of the book as we speak and i really am not sure what this book i found it you know it's one of those freebies okay it's selected works of R Rudyard Kipling, The Light That Failed, Plain Tales from the Hills, Volume 2, and it looks like, I didn't even realize there was pictures in here, um, I'm not, it doesn't have, I was trying to see if there was a copyright, but of course these older books, a lot of them don't have copyrights, so, um, I'm just like, whatever, I'm using this because I loved the look of this, of these pages. So what I'm doing, cut the spine off because this was a very, this wasn't even a half inch spine, you know, that was like this big. <laughs> so I cut that off, got rid of the spine. I already, um, pre-did, um, a spine. These are being, these are full two inch width spines that I am going to add. And I went ahead and covered this uh, with some book pages first, which is what I'm gonna do with this um, as soon as I can find what I did with my glue. Um, so all I'm gonna do for this, because uh, I'm losing my train of thought. I am just going to do a base layer and don't be shy of the glue folks <laughs> and well I had well I guess it's finger time I thought I was prepared with I had a sponge brush that I was going to use, but guess not. Okay. And I'm just using uh, some Aileen's tacky, tacky glue. On some book covers, if they have a slick surface, it's better to add, do some sanding or um, use an emery, emery board. But these have a great texture to them, so <clears throat> I'm not worried about it. 
So all I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of, well, we'll go over this far. And then, what did I do with my, and don't worry, this is all going to get glued properly. I just want to make sure. We're going to even this out some. I love being able to use older pages, book pages. I just love the look of book pages. All right, let me see how. Uh, we are going and. I'm going to have to get out my new bottle. Alright, so what I like to do, I have my little rolly. Ooh, that did, that smashed out my head. I have this little rolly that I use for um, my jelly plate. Uh, you don't know what a jelly plate is. That's just kind of like a silicone uh, square that you squirt paint on and you do impressions and prints with your uh, I'll do I'll do a video I'm sure the majority of you guys know what it is but um, that's always good just to show just in case all right now I'm gonna let just this dry just for a little bit and do the second one let's do the second one real quick I thought I would do these so my pen pal can see what her how her journals were made the covers at least like I said she just wants the covers she's got a great artistic um I love her style, let's put it that way. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of the um, ephemera or papers that are her style, even though I would love it. I just don't have any access to any around here right now. Um, so I like to send her kind of more naked papers, naked stuff, and then that way she can add her own elements to it, which are gorgeous. Um, so I'm so excited to finally have an idea of what to send her because, you know, ephemera is all fun and good, but it, you only get, you only send so many designs and then you're like, hmm, is there something else? Anything else? <laughs> so... I'm gonna put it. The reason why I'm putting these so far because I'm gonna put them over the edges of the book so there's no raw edges um, on the cover. And what's great is that, like I said, you don't like the book pages, you can cover it up. <laughs> it's no biggie. Alright, so, so it looks like I'm going to have to get my new glue bottle out. Alright, let me... Where's my roly roly roly? All 
All right, let me put this over there. Uh, I have wet wipes. Uh, I was prepared for wet wipes. <laughs> I get a little messy with the glue. I admit I get messy with the glue, but it eventually comes off, so I'm not too worried about it. All right, so now I need my glue. Where's my, let's use a smaller bottle of glue. <laughs> not that it is Okay, so I'm going to go back to the first cover. All right, hopefully it won't stick too bad to the... All right, so now what I'm going to do is this one to... Oh, man, I forgot to clip my corners. Well... We'll see how that goes. <laughs> All right, so <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna have to clip them. I'm gonna have to clip them if I want, not all the way, but enough to because I don't want. See, I make mistakes. Mistakes happen, but you can fix them. It's not a big deal. <laughs> it's not a big deal. Or I should say, it's not the end of the world. Okay. Let's go back to pressing all this lovely old crackly paper down. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. I love it when you can tell when something's old. You know? Like, um, when you can tell the pages of the book is really old. Let's see. All right. So, I guess I can put um, a couple on the inside cover because I'm not sure. Normally I don't mind the the white frame, but I'll get rid of some of that. Looks like I am at the end of my glue box. Okay. 
There's that. I'll probably fast forward this so you guys can not get too bored. We'll see here. All right, let me see. Oh my gosh, I forgot to hit play. <laughs> okay, so I got both book covers. Okay, base the base layer on. Don't worry, I'm not done because you know. I know you all are going to say, no, that's not going to hold. Don't worry. We are still working on it now. I just got to, okay. Remember. Here we go. Okay. So all I did was right now, the spine reinforced with some tape here. Um, and this is just a good way to be able to get this put in place where you need it at and I am gonna go I like a bigger gap in my spine and why I, I do that is because once you reinforce it with more tape and fabric and whatnot um, this bulks up, so it's always nicer to have, I like a wider gap. Um, plus it gives you room to, uh, it gives you room for your signatures to get, grow bigger, um, than you normally would. <laughs> so, plus this is going to be a massive, massive. Uh, tomb. <laughs> I'm calling it a tomb because it's just going to be insane. So what I like to do here is just add a couple, uh, another couple strips of tape because what I like to do is and then we go in to that gap you just made. All right. There we go. And we'll get this one. I always like to go from the center piece, press that way and then press inward. All right, and then of course, try not to stick it to your table. <laughs> I will fold over. And this is where the curved edge of your bone folder will help all right let's get this These bottom ones now you're like wendy you taped over your book that's because we're gonna do a layer um we're going to do another layer and what I like to do is add my, um, uh, 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 uh Mod Podge, <laughs> but I'm not doing a full layer of Mod Podge. Um, <clears throat> so then let's come in with some, um, I wonder what color, what color, what color, what color. I am thinking it's going to be covered anyway. And this is a heavier cardstock. So.
All right, so what this is, I'm just, oops, I'm just gonna let this dry fully and then we'll break it. Oops, did I hit my ugh, camera? All right, so I'll just let this dry and basically what I'm gonna do is come in with my other book. This